oh man, I'm starving. You're not starving. Uh, you, you're a bit peckish. You know, you've gone, what, you've missed lunch. You're not starving. There's kids. Welcome everybody, Russ McDonough, aka The Nomadic Veteran. Welcome to this week's video, albeit a little bit different. Um, why is it different? Well, this week, I'm doing a three day, also known as a 72 hour water fast, which basically means I don't eat any food and I just consume water. It's as simple as that. Before I get into the why, a couple of knowledge ones for you. The average human, human being can go 60 days without food but only three days without water before they kick the bucket. So I Googled it, it must be true. Anyway, right, let's get into it. Why, why am I doing this? Uh, <laughs> right, so first off, there are health benefits. I'm not doing it for the health benefits. However, it is nice to know that I'll get a little something something for my effort. Uh, health benefits are physiological and psychological. I'll touch on those in a minute, but yeah, that's always nice to know. The reason I wanted to do this was, was, there was a couple of reasons. One was because um, in the Western world now, we, we're very fortunate that no one really goes hungry. We, we are, every need is met. Food is an abundant, uh, or is in abundance. So it's, you know, when you hear people saying, oh man, I'm starving. You're not starving. Uh, you, you're a bit peckish. You know, you've gone, what, you've missed lunch. You're not starving. There's kids, there's adults, in far worse places around the world which are starving. So we're very, very lucky in that regard. I'm not, I'm not dissing that. However, that has made us quite soft. We're a soft species at the moment uh, in the Western world. So I wanted to do this as a bit of a mental resilience test. Um, you never know what the future holds and I always feel like when you push yourself out your comfort zone, those are experiences which you can then look back on and draw on to get through whatever you're going through at that time. So it's, it's a little training thing, mental resilience, push myself out of comfort zone, happy days. Um, the other thing which actually uh, is, is, a, is a Brucey bonus is ever since we've been in Tbilisi, uh, myself and Gibbo have been working pretty hard and uh, our diet has kind of slipped a little bit. Um, we normally eat very healthy. Since we've been here, uh, we've, been, we've been eating quite a lot of junk food. And it was a night, this is a way I see for me to be, have a last bit of junk food, draw a line in the sand, three days of water, and then get back on that healthy food train. I think it's a good, good way to do it. Um, yeah, that's, about, that's the why. Uh, the health benefits, I'll go, I'll, there are a numerous amount, but I'll just go into a few now. Now I have written down because I wouldn't want to get this wrong because you know I'm not a doctor. Uh, and if you are thinking of doing this, by all means, do your own research, consult your own doctor. This is just what I've sort of like, my own research has led me to believe or has shown me. So first one, stem cells. Um, doing a two, day water, two to three day water fast can improve, reset and regenerate the, the immune system. So that's straight away, that's onto a winner. Um, how it does that, basically white blood cells are broken down during the fast, which in turn cause the stem cells in your body to produce more. Uh, with the new blood cells, white blood cells uh, are not just new, but healthier and more effective. So they're a bit more robust. Um, so there you go, how good is that? Uh, this also, uh, two, to three, two to three day water fast can also lower your uh, risk of diabetes, heart disease and autoimmune diseases. So that's awesome. Uh, there is also something called uh, auto, auto, I'll get it, autophagy, there you go. Uh, and uh, so that's basically what that is, is that's always occurring in your body. However, the fast heightens that for uh, different levels of heightened for, for every single person. And basically what that is, is that's the body's way of cleaning out any damaged cells in order to regenerate new ones, uh, new and healthier cells. Does that make sense? Good. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I said before as well, uh, there are psychological benefits. So in the research, which I've read up on as well, uh, round about day two, a lot of people say their mental clarity is, is, is through the roof and their creative side actually improves. I don't know how that is, why that is, 
but it'd be interesting to see once I get to that stage of the fast whether my creative juices are a bit more flowing. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the health benefits. In terms of exercise, uh, I'm not gonna be doing any hardcore exercise, I'm not gonna be beasting myself. What I'm gonna be doing is cracking on as per usual with normal, normal daily activities, so walking the dogs, um, you know, just general mincing rounds. We'll probably take a walk into the city on Monday, um, and I might even crack some yoga, so yeah. And it, actually, anyone who knows me, that's probably a quite a hardcore workout for me doing yoga, so yeah. Um, and final bits and pieces. Right, uh, supplements. Again, when you do your research, there are a lot of um, different points of view on whether you should supplement while you're doing this. Um, I've decided that all I'm gonna do is drink water. Uh, water is a natural appetite suppressant as well, so uh, I'm not gonna record how much water I am drinking, but I'll keep myself well hydrated. If I am feeling a bit peckish, I'll have a glass of water, and also I am gonna drink uh, black coffee every now and then. So black coffee is zero calorie, so you won't be, drink, uh, you won't be breaking the fast, and also, again, it is a uh, appetite suppressant. So if I'm feeling turbo hungry, black coffee, happy days. There are other things you can have, like uh, matcha green tea and all that. I'm not gonna go for that. I'm sticking with water and the occasional black coffee. Good. Um, and then on a side note, Gibbo is not joining me for this. This is me doing, doing this on my own, um, which might make it a bit more difficult in certain aspects because one, obviously Gibbo's gonna be having a normal meals, normal snacking, uh, so that'll be fun to watch her do that. Um, and I think the most difficult time for me will be in the evening, we like to sit down and watch Netflix with our, with our evening scran because obviously Gibbo's gonna be doing that it's a bit of like a, you know, I might find that quite difficult and be like, this is something we normally do together. But anyway, uh, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Let's go on with it. Get him some practice in. Cheers. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. 72 hours on the clock. Good. 71 hours, 59 minutes and 55 <laughs> seconds to go. Good. Good morning. Right, we are, it's Sunday morning basically. Uh, we are over halfway, so that I'm very pleased with. There is the official clock, I don't know if you can see that. 36 hours and 50 minutes of a 72 hour fast. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Last night, fine. Watch Gibbo eat a scran while we watch Netflix. That was, mm, what can you do? Uh, I did go to bed a little bit earlier. We, I went to bed about half nine, which is no great shakes really, because I normally go to bed about 10, half 10 or eight, but I was feeling a bit tired. I was like, oh, get me head down. Slept just fine, no issues there. Woke up this morning. Obviously, I feel a bit hungry. Um, I've not eaten for 36 hours, uh, but I, I feel fine. Uh, energy levels are good. I wouldn't say I'm feeling depleted or anything. Um, I Obviously, I'm not gonna go out and run a marathon right now, but I feel like I've got enough energy to basically do whatever I need to do, whether it be cleaning the house, taking the boys for a walk, whatever, I feel fine. Um, that being said, I am massively looking forward to eating some food tomorrow night. So I'm still trying to decide what to eat. There is a discussion that I'm gonna let Gibbo choose what I get to eat. Uh, and hopefully she doesn't see me off and like, I don't know, get me an apple or something. Um, but yeah, generally feeling pretty good. That is about it. Gibbo, how have I been acting, all right? Yeah, hungry. <laughs> I haven't been acting hungry at all. No, that's a lie. Then we'll have to delete that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. We're over halfway. Good. Good morning. Right, we have just passed the 60 hour mark. Um, literally just passed it, so that's good. Uh, give you a little update on how I'm feeling. <sighs> how am I feeling? Last night, I was hungry. I was, in all honesty, I was getting a bit threaders. I was like, man, I really want to eat. Um, but I didn't, obviously. I suppressed the senses. Uh, went to bed, 10 o'clock good time, normal time. I uh, did get up a few times in the middle of the night just because I had to go for a number one because I drank so much 
water and, and, and that. So yeah, woke up this morning, bit of a blocked nose. That might be because we've had the, uh, the Dyson fan on though. Not quite a headache, but in, in fact, I feel a bit groggy. I think that's probably the, the best way to put it. I feel a bit groggy. Uh, I'll have a shower in a bit. That'll probably perk me up right up actually. So all good. Um, what else is there? I'm turbo looking forward to getting some food. And the, the, the hunger pan, pangs come and go. So yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. I would not have, I would have thought before doing this that it's the 60 hour point, my stomach would be a lot more like, oh my God, you need to give me food. Whereas, yeah, I'm hungry, but I'm not like crazy. Does that make sense? I might have a cheeky little smile on me because that is 72 hours and one minute cracked. Not a single calorie, not a single bit of scran food has touched these lips or entered my body. Um, what I'll do tomorrow is I'll do a bit of a, what's the word I'm looking for? Wrap up, debrief on how it went. Uh, this is what I'm going to be breaking. There is other bits and pieces in there. We don't need to go into that. This is what I'm going to be breaking it with. Uh, I'm going to take my time with it. It could be a bit healthier, maybe, but I've got a juice, beetroot, apple, some other stuff, and I've got this cheeky little sandwich here. So, I'm going to do it. You get to watch the first bite and see how good it is. Excuse the mess. When I bit into that then, I could, the, the flavors were just, it was, excuse my French, fucking intense then like, <laughs> it was crazy. Oh mm. oh, that is delicious. More so than probably, and it's delicious at the best of times, but, So good. <laughs> it's so good. That's just to get some good vitamins and minerals and all that damn it. This is just to reward myself for not <laughs> eating for, for three days. So yeah, this is unbelievable. Hmm. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna eat this. And depending how much my stomach has shrunk, I might have something else as well, but we'll play by ear. But just know this is absolutely amazing. Now, yeah. <laughs> leave me to it, will ya? <laughs> and that, people, is that. Uh, challenge done. Right, what I thought I would do is just give a two minute debrief on how it all went. So, first things first, what did I find difficult? Two things really. One, sitting down with Gibbo and eat uh, and watching Gibbo eat uh, while we were like watching Netflix at night. That was pretty difficult. Um, not nails, but it, it was like, man, I wish I was eating with you. Uh, and two, I'd probably say, even though I did get hungry at times, I was never at a point where I was like, I need to break now, I need to eat. It was more of a case of, I missed that emotional connection with food. So I really just wanted to have that eating something, tasting it because I knew it would taste good and having that emotional happiness as such. Uh, that's what I, I missed. So those are the two things I missed. Um, what do I like about it? The fact that, you know what, well, it is a challenge. 
it's not an easy challenge. It's actually a lot harder than what you think it's going to be. Uh, but it's not the world's, you know, most nails challenge. But it, it's cheeky, and it, there are times when you are like, I'd like some food now. Um, what else? What else? I guess that I, I guess the main question is, was it worth it, and would I do it again? I do think it was worth it. Um, if only just for when you first bite into that sandwich. I thought I was going to cry. I was like, this is the, this is the most amazing sandwich ever. Um, so uh, even just for that, it, it was worth it. Um, I'm hoping the health side of uh, things have, have served me well. Um, you know, since then, I have been eating healthy. I know what, what I broke my fast with wasn't the healthiest thing in the world. But since then, I've been, I've been eating really healthy. Uh, a, a, a note on that. After I broke my fast, that night's sleep was a really bad night's sleep. Now, I don't know if that was just coincidental or whether that was something to do with breaking my fast with, like, not the world's greatest healthy food. Or, like I say, was it just coincidental? Uh, and would I do it again? You know what? I think I would. I think I would. Uh, I have read up that a lot of people do this every sort of, like, three, four months as a bit of a... almost like, call it a cleanse. Uh, I can see how that works. I, I can definitely see how that works. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably do it again. I'm not sure when. Uh, would I do a longer fast? Uh, having done research, it shows that really after three days, you're not getting any extra benefits, any more bang for your buck as such. So I probably wouldn't do faster or, or longer, um, but I think I would definitely do another three day fast. It was good, it was a good challenge. Um, so with that being said, that's it. Usual admin. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, and I would love to hear actually, uh, if one, you've done this three day fast, uh, if two, you've done uh, any type of fast. So maybe it's a one day, maybe it's longer than maybe it was a five day, or whether you're actually thinking about doing it. If you are, let me know, man. I, I wanna hear what, how you found it, and or if you're doing it, what you're nervous about, etc. And then, uh, Please share the video with anyone you think might be interested uh, in fasting or they're into their health or anything. Um, and lastly, this is a bit of a random video for our, for our channel, but if you would like to subscribe to the channel, that'd be mega. And for now, later.